for those that are developing a product that they can ultimately sell uh, to consumers, the packaging is important. So for cannabis, we're going to just go over some brief cannabis packaging uh, as a way to kind of market your product uh, and what things you should be looking for, whether you're a consumer or a producer in this case. So product packaging, heavy duty bags, cans, uh, containers uh, can all be used. Typically, if you're looking for long-term storage, they'll be nitrogen filled. This is an inert gas to help preserve the product. This example of a can here can be used in sealable bags. Keep in mind, nitrogen is the most uh, high, gas of highest abundance in the atmosphere, uh, but these nitrogen filled bags will be filled with near 100% uh, nitrogen there. That just helps increase the longevity of the uh, product. Now, within the product packaging, I want to keep light out. Uh, however, a customer viewing window is strongly encouraged, as this can allow for inspections by uh, your uh, consumer without opening or breaking the seal of the package. So seals are very important. You want to make sure you're keeping those contents uh, under controlled conditions, particularly if they're nitrogen filled, but the consumer still wants a way to view them. So much like in a grow tent here, where we can have a viewing window where you can peek in and see what you might be purchasing or might be growing in this case, uh, the same thing should be applied to packaging. This window does not need to be you know, super large, uh, but an area where the consumer can look in and inspect the product that they are uh, looking up to potentially purchase without damaging the seal, ruining all the work that was done uh, to increase the longevity of that product. Branding, ensuring your customer knows where their canvas is coming from is important. Branding your product as a result and having it be effective is important to you as a grower. Remember though, this can work to help or hurt you. So uh, ensure that there's a quality product inside and a consistent product inside. If you produce a poor product and people associate your name with poor products, that's going to work against you. But if you brand your um, cannabis and consumers like it and it gets sold, that can be much to your benefit in the long term. Marketing. Uh, so not going to get too much into this, but container size that you use, the shape, the color, the design, of the label all play into marketing. The picture here of a, of a food store, uh, again, just showing you all the different marketing uh, that occurs uh, with all the different fruits and vegetables and products here. There are many, many options, and while this is important, your, pr your first priority, your priority number one, should be the actual product. If you're not producing a quality product, if you're producing a so-so product, it doesn't matter how good your marketing is, uh, if it's not that great of a product, it won't get sold. Uh, people may try it initially because of the great, you know, advertisement or the great color or shape of the container or label, but ultimately if they find it to be poor quality, they will typically seek out better quality uh, products, so that should be your first step, but you should still have someone dedicated into marketing and consider this because it is, can be a very competitive um, environment out there, so you want to make sure that your high quality product is being put in front of as many consumers as possible to help increase sales. Uh, to drive the business model that you have.